Hello everybody, welcome back to Peachy Disc Golf. Today, we have a uh, challenge that I'm kind of dreading a little bit. This is gonna be really tricky, but today is Wednesday, August 24th, which is the release date for Discmania's full tilt. Uh, so, I'm gonna be playing around with this. I haven't thrown a tilt. I know one of our friends, Tin, has the meta tilt, but I haven't thrown one at all, so gonna be testing this out. It's super overstable. Let me, like, as far as like, just the way the disc feels, it actually feels a lot more comfortable than I expected. It's uh, it's definitely a little sharp. You can sort of see it's board flat at the top. The plastic feels nice. It's similar sort of to um, the Royal Grand plastic from uh, from Latitude 64. It feels really nice in the hand, actually. I like it a lot, this uh, Lux Vapor plastic and this sweet rainbow stamp as well. Pretty excited to try it out. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a nine hole challenge. I'm actually sort of choosing some of the easier holes here at East Roswell Park, because this is one of the more technical courses we have in the area. So let's go ahead and get started then. All right, so I'm not doing a front nine, back nine. I just chose nine of the <laughs> easier holes to play because uh, so the, the tilt, incredibly overstable. I'm sure if you watch the videos you've, you've seen, don't really have the greatest arm speed, kind of a noodle arm. So I'm gonna play hole two here is the first hole, 182 feet to the pin. Um, normally I throw like an envy, just straight down the middle, let it fade in. Not gonna happen with this, this will dump way too hard. So I think I'm gonna go almost like a, almost a tomahawk forehand. Sort of, so I'm gonna go left, hopefully, and then sort of it'll just crash back on the, to the right. Where do I want a thumber? What do you think, Kang? I'm not sure how thumbers fly. I should know, but I don't throw them, so I have no idea. And it's not a hammer. You know what? I'm gonna do the forehand. <laughs> so, we'll see. This will be my first ever throw with this this thing, so I have no clue how, how it flies. I cannot believe it's so stable, it still came back from that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you threw it. I thought it was gonna be more stable even, you know? I have a, an opening and it'll just hyzer right into the basket, so. I hope so. Oh no. No, it can't roll. Nope, Wait, I'm not making that putt. Oh, come back. Hey. <sighs> All right, save par. I thought you made that. I thought I had made it too. It didn't fade. No fade on the putts. I think putting wise, you should putt the same. I think at the end of the day, it, it will fade a little bit, but it won't fade, fade as that much. much. You, yeah. There you go. Hole four here, 225 feet, sort of off to the, straight. it's really straight down, but it does sort of have a little slight off to the right here. So I think I'm gonna go with another forehand. This time I know not to throw it straight vertical though. I'll put a little less angle on it and we'll see how uh, how it goes. Oh, not very okay. far. <laughs> All right, so I have like two gaps here. Obviously normally I would just throw like my putter right, right to the basket, but with this beefy boy, I'm gonna aim for that little purple sign there the sign of Dumbo on it. We'll see. Oh, I missed. Hey, <laughs> a little tree kiss. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris. I'm already falling apart. So I'm starting off exactly how I imagined. Bogey, bogey off, off the rip. Uh, hole three for me is gonna be hole five at East Roswell. So uh, 250 feet. There's three lines. I'm obviously gonna be just, I'm gonna fi finally try a backhand with it. Um, so I'm gonna go on this right gap and hope it just doesn't go really far to the left down the slope. So that's, uh, that's what, what could happen to me here. So here we go. <laughs> that was such a bad throw, but it almost worked. Chris has got a throw in birdie right now. Yeah, I'm gonna just throw this really far to the right, actually. I think that's the play. I'm in the, the brush though, so I can't do a run up or anything. So I don't know, I don't, with how overstable this is, I don't know if I can make the distance, honestly. Oh, 
Oh, that was really oh, good. It's still rolling. No, sit. It's rolling? Oh, and it's curling to the basket. <clears throat> oh. I can par with the tilt. Let's go. If you missed that, I would have left. It would have been funny if I would have thrown it hard enough for it to bounce out. That would have been pure content. Hole 11 is my next hole here. 210 feet. There's a, a double mando you have to throw through. So uh, it's not too hard normally. I don't actually know what I'm going to throw here. I think I'm going to go, let's go upside down forehand, yeah? Oh. Well, I made it through. <laughs> That's all that matters really for this hole. <laughs> pretty good. Do I go with the upside down putt, Kang? Is that the secret to putting with the, the tilt? It's not. <laughs> it's not the secret. All right, so here we are, hole 12. Probably around 225 feet or so. Basically just go straight down and over the hazard. Uh, you can also throw off to the right and let it fade in, but basically there's a rock garden there that counts as a hazard. So uh, if you land in it, you'll take a stroke and you have to putt from there. So I'm gonna go upside down backhand, I think this time, going off to the right. Oh my God. <laughs> That's really uncomfortable on your thumb. <laughs> this is sort of what the tilt was made for though, is this sort of scramble shot. Oh, it's parked. All right, Chris has got a tester with the tilt. Oh. All right, so hole 13 here, 174 feet. There are two lines, and I'm just gonna be going with my normal line here on the right, just sort of air it out and see how hard it crashes. I'm gonna start like down here, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You have a birdie putt. <laughs> this disc is ridiculous. Got kind of a tester here, so. Uh, so it's like 40 feet, <laughs> 35, 40. Do you, do you think I'm outside here? Yeah, you're way outside. Not that it matters, because I'm not going to jump up with this. Oh, that one, I needed the fade. Actually. Not bad, though. You would have made that with a normal disc, Chris, with the par. Hole 14 here is 213 feet. Sort of a couple trees scattered on both the left and the right, but really, you're just gonna go straight down. Normally, I would throw like a buzz or a hex here, I guess, now since I don't really throw the buzz anymore. With the tilt, you could maybe even forehand it, but I think it'll just cut too far to the right then at the end, and that's if you make it past all these trees. I think I'm just gonna go for a tomahawk as hard as I can down the middle. Uh, not sure what that'll do, but we'll see. Oh no, it cut rolled to the right. I was right. hoping it would just roll straight, but then it might have gone too far. Chris has got to look for bird. The thing is, is I want to just go straight at the basket here, but it's going to fade too much. So I think I have to throw it here, really like to this tee pad and just sort of let it come back. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it high though. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think that was the better play. <laughs> Oh, I missed. Oh my God, it bounced out. <laughs> oh my God. Hole 15 here is 192 feet. Uh, pretty much just go up the hill, fade off to the left a little bit, and then the basket's just down the hill a little. It's not really as far left bending as you think, so the tilt, honestly, is not, it's not the worst disc for this hole, but it's not the best disc either. I think I'll try just a regular backhand though. On, on slight Annie. Yeah, oh, that's a great idea actually, a little Annie. Let's do that. Not enough. Oh, but made it still, through, but not bad. a little more would have been better. Got to go forehand, I think, right? Just a little chip forehand. Wow. Oh my God. That didn't fade. Time for another bogey, Kang. When I miss this putt, I got to throw it to the right this time. Oh, oh let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Just enough. All right, last hole for me is hole 18 with the tilt here, 315 feet, bunch of wall of trees. I'm honestly just going forehand and just launching it and, let, and then praying, you know? That's my game plan. Oh, I skied no. it. I'm in the next fairway. I'm going, just chucking it as hard as I can for backhand and hoping it just sort of fights through these trees. That's what this is made for, right, is scramble shots, so. 
Oh my, oh no. Dang it. Oh my God. Oh, great approach. Oh! oh. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, oh no, it's God. still it's rolling. It's going up to hole one. <laughs> it's got. <laughs> all right, well, I'm all finished up with my tilt only round. This is a uh, tough disc to throw, especially with uh, if you have a low arm speed like me. It's pretty challenging, super beefy, obviously. Can't really do much work. I will say though, for scramble shots though, I can see where it come where it, where it's useful. So I think it's not it's not a terrible disc. I might I'll probably keep it in the bag. Honestly, I might use it here and there if I'm if I'm trying to get out of the woods or something. We will probably have some more videos with the tilt because you know Kang's here. Kang, you you want to do a, a round tilt only at some point, right? Only at Chattahoochee. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be more fun having it in a more open course so we can really let it go, see what kind of lines we can make with it. And uh, I will say though, putting with this disc is horrible. It feels miserable, and <laughs> if you miss your putt at all, uh, if, it hit, if it hits the basket or something, it's flying and flailing everywhere. It rolls all over the place on the ground, so. Definitely keep that in mind also. But that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And then also be sure to ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode comes out. And until next time, everybody, cheers.